Hey, 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 it's Helen here and I'm coming in to talk about why we should be getting training right now. There is so much uncertainty right now about how and when life is going to get back to some sort of normal um, over, the, over the coming weeks and the coming months. When it's going to be safe to start properly socialising, hugging family members and travelling beyond our homes. And if you're a runner, who, who lives to run races and you were entered into a spring marathon that's been postponed to autumn, I know you're probably wondering whether your race, if it's been postponed to this autumn, maybe it's a marathon or a half, you're wondering whether your race is actually going to go ahead or if it's going to be cancelled or a virtual race or something else is going to happen. So many of the big, big races like Dublin and Berlin, they've already been cancelled and others like Boston have turned into virtual runs. So if you're entered into to run London or another of the major races, I know you're probably on tender hooks, nervously waiting to find out more before you make a commitment to start getting back into, into training and taking your running a little bit more seriously. I know how a lot of you are thinking. I know a lot of you are thinking almost like, what's the point? What is the point of, of getting back into training? What is the point of starting running again? I bet they're going to cancel my race. There is absolutely no point in, in, in getting back to running and starting training until a race is confirmed. And if you're running London, um, an announcement was made a couple of weeks ago that Hugh Brasher, the, the Lon London Marathon Race Director, is going to make an announcement to us um, as we're running London um, on the situation on the 21st of June. So I know a lot of you are waiting until that date to start thinking about training. What is, what were you going to do? Um, and thinking, you know, it really isn't worth starting running, getting serious, getting focused or even finding a plan. So let's have a think. What might you say? What are the various options that, that might be put, proposed to us? And, and what, what, what might we then do, <clears throat> do about that with our training? So first up, let's have a think about it. First option could be that London is on, um, but it's on for just elites. And for the race is completely cancelled for anyone who, who is, has a ballot entry, good for age, international or a charity place. And we're all cancelled for 2020 and our places are then deferred to 2021 or horror or horrors. They're just cancelled. I hope that's not going to happen, but that could be an option that that we we have our race completely cancelled and, and that's it for 2020. There is no London. There's no nothing. That could be an option that they come up with. Second option they might, might come up with is um, do the Boston, go down the Boston route, that they turn London into a virtual race. Um, and that could happen for, for any of the other other marathons as well. So I'm talking about London, but I'm also thinking, you know, the, the other big marathons that go on in the UK, I'm sure that they're waiting to find out what London's doing and they might then follow suit. So the second option is London could turn into a virtual race. So we're not going to be running the streets of London. We're going to be doing something else um, come October to to get awarded our, our bling and our t-shirts, but it's not going to be a race in central London. It, it's not going to be London Marathon. It's going to be, it might be some sort of virtual event. Or a third option could be that the race is still on and that London Marathon, Hugh Brasher comes on and says, look guys, we are doing whatever we can to put this race on, to put the event on, to have you running the streets of London. And we're working to make it a safe experience for all. So those are three, three options that we could be coming up with. And <clears throat> I know there's a bunch of you who, who are the, it, it, it's a London or nothing um, group. And 
unless there's you know full-on commitment that you're going to complete London Marathon and have the full-on experience of the race of having Expo, Tower Bridge crowds and all of the applause um, along the mall, then there's really no point in, 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 run, in running, running London. You are the guys who are the, the London Marathon. It is London or nothing. And you'd rather sit on the sofa and not do anything and um, pause your running, pause your training if we're not going to, if you're not going to have that full on experience of all of the crowds and the race day experience. Because let's face it, running London, one of those massive, massive major marathons, for a lot of people, it really is all about the, the external experience. It's not necessarily about challenging yourself to run 26.2 miles it is the entire entire experience of the whole thing that you really that's why you're wanting to run london and you wouldn't want to to do a virtual race you don't want to get some bling unless you're running over tower bridge with thousands and thousands of people around where you are and <clears throat> And so you are, I'm calling you guys, it's the full on London or nothing runners. And I know a lot of you guys have already deferred your place to 2021, realizing that, you know what, there is so much ambiguity around at the moment, whether or not these races are going to go ahead. And even if they do with social distancing and what is happening in the world right now, and maybe we're in lockdown, we're easing lockdown, maybe we'll go back into lockdown. Ah, can't deal with that. You'd much rather get COVID out of the way and get the security that you know you can get the full on London experience next year. But there is another group of runners um, whilst running ma a marathon is their dream and whilst running London is their dream, were really, really enjoying training this winter. And they tuned up their life for their training and were loving the feeling of finally mastering those ultra long 20 milers in their plan. They have got their fingers, toes, arms crossed that London is still going to go on and want to run the race whatever this year so they don't mind if it's a reduced field they don't mind if crowds are not encouraged to come they just want to to do it this year they've been in training they they did a really good set of runs this spring and want to get going want to get motivated this year to experience and challenge themselves to run that distance through the streets of london and they they are wanting to to make sure that they're they're, they're physically capable of running 20 26.2 miles this year whether it's on the streets of london or they're not too fast as to whether or not it's going to be a virtual stress race they're still going to want to train like they mean it they they don't want to put this experience on hold for next spring they want to give it a go this autumn get their 40th anniversary t-shirts and their 40th anniversary bling now if that's you if you had a really good block of training this winter and you're frustrated that you know the races didn't go didn't go to plan and we're all postponed this summer and you really really want to have another good block of training through this summer then let's have a think about what you need to be doing we need to make sure that you are going to turn your your mojo around a lot of us still want to be running this autumn but a little bit oh my goodness what's happened over the last few weeks in, in lockdown so mojo has got gone and gone a little bit but you want to get back want to keep up your training this summer want to get back in training and and get 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 going so that you can you can have a really good run or race or virtual race um sometime september october november this year now if that's you you could leave it until later this month um until um hugh tells us what's going to happen around Lung L london but I think the longer that you leave it to get started, the harder your first run is going to feel. Let's face it, if you've already set your sights on that you want to get training this summer, 
why are you still procrastinating? Why aren't you getting out there, starting training, getting a training plan, getting going with some hard running and, and just getting your motivation back on track? Introducing Marathon Club Hub Summer Training Run Camp. I've been working with a group of runners all the way through lockdown on some spring training. We've been doing a, a spring training run camp. And in that spring training run camp, I've helped them um, go from feeling a little bit uh, locked down, uh, my marathon's not happening, uh, 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 to feeling fabulous. They are fabulous and fit. And through eight weeks, I've kept them training. In fact, I got them back training, kept them motivated all the way through lockdown, training to keep their fitness going so that they can start training for their, their races, for their marathons, for virtual races this summer. So what we're going to be doing this summer in my Marathon Club Hub Summer Training Run Camp, run camp is we're going to be doing another virtual coaching program. So the, the run camp is a virtual coaching program and a community that is going to help get you back training with structure and with focus to keep you running this summer. So you can get fit for your awesome races, get fit, ready and prepared to run, whether it's going to be a virtual race or a real race through a city. Now, if you've lost your motivation since lockdown, or you've been running aimlessly with really no structure and no plan, then the weekly workouts, challenges and essential coaching advice and check-ins that I've got in our summer training camp are going to keep you motivated, focused and on track with your training. Because let's face it, it is about that motivation. It's about keeping focused and keeping on track that's really, really important. Working in a virtual group, you're going to be following a structured training program for your, your race, whatever that race is going to be, with running workouts that are going to build your running endurance, build your fitness, build your speed, and also conditioning challenges that are going to help you build your, your strength, your running strength, and resilience um, to help you with your coaching, with your, with your, with your training. And we've got weekly coaching calls where I'm going to coach you on essential training and race preparation tips and advice. And I'm going to be there keeping you motivated, keeping that mojo for running, keeping that mojo for training up all the way through summer. That is my job. I am kind of like the cheesecake motivator. And I'm going to keep you focused and on track through, through just, just, Chipping everybody along, making sure that you, you are lifted up when you're feeling down through training this summer. So runners, summer training run camp is going to start on the 15th of June. So if that is you, if you are determined that you are going to keep focused this summer, you don't want to sit on the couch and eat cake all the way through until Christmas and then think, Ooh, oh my God, I've got a spring race I've got to train for. If you want to keep focused, keep training this summer, then make sure that you have signed up, saved your spot to come and join me in summer training run camp. We're starting on the 15th of June, so it's just a week or so away. So make sure that you click the link below or above to get going now and to save your spot. Hope to see you there. Take care. See you soon. Bye.